guys, it is time for my whip update for July. I just forgot what month it was, <laughs> just in that second. Um, yeah, so here we go. Firstly, Dorianne. I have not stitched on Dorianne this month, <laughs> but I'm planning on stitching on her this week um, once I finish something else that I'm going to show you in a second. So here is Dorianne. She looks the same as the last time you saw her. And like I said, I am hoping to work on her starting today, this week. I need to figure out a rotation, you guys. I hear, like, you guys have rotations, and I think that's so cool, and I have such trouble with them <laughs> because um, it's not... I don't usually have more than one project going at once. I like having more than one project going at once now that I'm doing it, but I work on something and then my instinct is to just like work on it until it's done because that's what I always did. But now I have like more than one thing and I just don't know how to balance them. And I, I mean, I like the idea of being like one week, next week, next week. I don't know. We'll just see if I can get it together. <laughs> um, so that's Dorianne. No progress on her this month so far. Last month. Oh my God. Um, the black work sampler. I just finished uh, finished off that section I had showed you in my vlog in Minot these kind of couple. So I just finished off that little bit there. So there's just one more section on this side to do before that row is done. And my Canada Sampler, I have really been enjoying stitching this. Um, I haven't really done a lot of samplers, so stitching little individual things has been really fun. It's been like tiny little finishes. Uh, please ignore this junky, junky fabric. I wish I had not picked this fabric to stitch this on. This is that MCG Textiles Even Weave, and it is such crud. <laughs> so ignore how janky my fabric is, but this is my Canada sampler. So the totem pole there is like the, this is in the shape of a maple leaf, so that's like the stem. And then up close here I have like a little moose and the parliament building and some flags and this wheat thing and a fleur-de-lis and yeah, it's been really cool. Plus it's also like Canadian stuff and it's making me feel so patriotic. Um, and then obviously it says from far and wide, oh Canada. So that is my progress on the Canada sampler. Um, I also started working on my very first Biscornu. I don't know where the emphasis goes in that word. Biscornu, Biscornu, I don't know. Pin cushion. <laughs> um, I'm making it because uh, a guy I know at work made me a little crafty thing. We found out that we both kind of do crafty stuff. So he made me a crafty thing and then I wanted to make him this because then it could be like a craft for a craft. So I'm stitching. It's a Satsuma Street Viscornu and I will link their Etsy shop down below. It's the, the citrus one. Like Satsuma Street has a little citrus fruit as its logo. And that is in this Biscornu. I figured it was like, I don't know, it's a guy, so I don't, I mean, this is kind of femmy anyways, but whatever. So I stitched it on 25 count Lugana because that's what I had. Um, it was charted for 32 count, so this is kind of going to be like a jumbo <laughs> Biscornu, but I think that would be kind of cute. So here's the first piece. I haven't assembled it yet. I was actually planning on doing that today, and then I might shoot a little bit of footage once it's done, providing I can do it. So this is the first piece. It's just a little citrus fruit. It's a little border. Very cute. And then this is the second piece, the bottom. So today I just have to start stitching them together and stuff it and do the button and then hopefully I can give that to him tomorrow.
So I worked on my black work a little bit at the beginning of the month when we were in Minot. Then I worked on my Canada sampler and then this whole like last week I've been stitching that Viscornu. So um, what else? New developments. So I got a couple of, I got, I purchased a couple of things. Um, I'm storing my kitted up projects in these um, zipper bags. I got this idea from, shoot, I cannot remember. Um, but if I find her video, I will link it down below. She talked about using, um, like plastic project bag things, like for, they're like office supply things that have a snap and how that was so much better than Ziplocs. And I agree, I, I kept my projects in Ziplocs and I just thought they looked cheesy. So instead, I got these from Staples. They are yay big and they have like a slidey top. And they're great. And it just looks cleaner and nicer. So, um, in my last haul, I showed you the Dinky Dyes samplers that I bought. And I ordered the beads and the Krennic for them. So, the first one, my favorite one, is the Summer's Garden Gate. And these are the three colors of Krennic for that one. No beads in that one. The next one is Winter Ice, which is this one. These are the two colors of Krennic. And there are also two types of beads. I am so excited to start one of these. My plan is to finish the Canada sampler probably and then start one of these and I also want to start one of those mini mandalas from Chatelaine. Um, the next one is the Spring Hearts sampler. This is the one that Amanda stitched that I saw that I then needed to buy all of them so thank you again for that. <laughs> Um, these are the colors of Krennic for that one. And there's also one pack of beads, just a white. And lastly, the Autumn Fire sampler, which looks like that. The two colors of Krennic there and some beads and I think I already have these beads which I'm pretty sure these were in Mermaid of Atlantis but whatever you guys saw my bead storage if you didn't I will link it down below or it will be coming up next depending on how I upload these but you will see that I have plenty of room in my bead storage for another pack of these so that's all good so the Dinky Dye samplers are fully kitted up and somehow when I was ordering the Krennic and the beads, another pattern fell into my cart. Oh my god, how did it happen? I don't know. But it is Peacock Pinwheels by Tempting Tangles. And so these are all little peacocks. And I think they're so pretty. These type of patterns, um, the ones I like, I know that I like right away. And then the other ones I don't like at all. Um, it's interesting. Like if I, so say I'm looking for something like this. I think I saw on one of your videos, someone was working on a peacock something or they had it in their kit, in their stash, a peacock pattern. I was like, oh, peacocks. So then I went to 123 Stitch and searched for Peacocks, and this came up, and I liked it more than any of the other ones, even the like traditional peacock looking things. So I don't know. I don't really know what my taste is when it comes to these kind of patterns, but I know it right away. <laughs> you guys are probably like that too. Um, so I got some fabric to 
stitch it on 32 count ivory jobelin and I also got the um, threads for it so these are classic color works it's all classic color works there's no DMC it's just these threads so this is bejeweled Amber Waves, Really Teely, and there are two of these, Mulled Berries, Mint Julep, Fancy Green Nancy, Eve's Leaves. I like the rhyming. <laughs> this company is pro rhyming. And Spinach. So that is my works in progress update and also a tiny haul. I also have another tiny haul that I'm waiting on. Ugh, I need to like, there's so much to stitch. And I just have to stitch it instead of buy it. But anyways, thank you guys as always for your lovely comments and all your support. I so enjoy reading what you have to say and watching your videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! One more thing before I go. I had accepted Jesse's challenge to show the back of my big project, which is Dorian. So here it is. Ooh. Look at all that back action. <laughs>